Hey everybody, this is Edja Joe and welcome to the first of a three-part video series um, where I am helping to support some of the A7s I teach to um, do some calculations in a spreadsheet as you can see on the left hand side the top left here and then to create um, charts from that uh, in the form of models so we can solve a problem and then to print it uh, in the format that you can see on the screen so um, the scenario is that we are trying to solve problems in Katanga in Africa where there's a malaria outbreak and then um, there's four villages and if I just switch to the other mode there we go so we've got um, four villages and you can see the nearest swamps to these villages where there are mosquito um, breeding grounds and um, one or more of these swamps are infected with malaria which is causing uh, people to infect it to die and so on and so we could see we got we have also have the village population here and the percentage of people that are protected that are using mosquito nets so what we want to do is we want to work out the percentage of villagers infected and then also um, the percentage of unprotected or actually not the percentage how many people are unprotected that are not using mosquito nets and then the percentage of the unprotected villagers that are also infected so that's what we want to work out and once we've worked that out we can then um, create charts from that for example model number one is the number of people infected model number two is the percentage of villages infected and now model number three the percentage of unprotected villages that are also infected um, and to see which of these three models can best point us in the direction of what swamp is uh, to blame for it and then um, so we'll do the charts in the second video and then the third video I'll, we'll um, see how we can print it out in landscape and so on so let's get started so um, you will obviously if I teach you you will have um, this spreadsheet already completed like that so the yellow part over here and over here is the bit that we want to do our calculations and um, then we'll go from there so if you if I don't teach you if you're in a different school or you just want to have some basic calculation skills in um, Excel then you can just copy out um, the spreadsheet and then you can just follow along as well so first of all um, you want to do your full name I'm just just going to use my the name that I always use as a student in school which is uh, Jimmy Jones and the class I'll just say it's 7a uh, depending on what your class number is so you just click in cell b1 and you type your name and then you can click in cell f1 cell reference f1 by the way if you don't know what a cell reference is um, it is for example if i click on this one and i said it was b1 you can see there it says b1 but it's the letter and then the number so b1 and this one will for example be e3 um, that one will be e7 and so on and so on so um so you click you write your name or type your name actually and you click you type your class um, I put in a formula over here that automatically um, whenever you open the file will have the the date of that day so today is Sunday the 7th of January 2018 right so how do we do the calculations how do we work out the percentage of villages infected so what we need to do to work out the percentage of villages infected the formula will be it's the number of um, uh, people number of villages that are infected divided by the population so we're going to say one divided by a hundred so the first thing that you need to know in terms of Excel calculations is every single time you do a calculation you must start with an equal sign that tells Excel that you want to do a calculation um, or something like that so um, if I just do one divided by a hundred you will see that the answer is 0 0.01 um, but it doesn't show us what the percentage is and uh, if I just go here in the formula bar at the top here and I add um, times 100 it will actually give me the percentage which is 1 but um, that is just if you type it in if these values change then the answer is not going to change over here so that's the problem that we have so I never ever use values specific um, if I can't find them already in my spreadsheet so uh, I'm just going to delete that and just explain that you now um, using cell references so I'm going to start with an equal sign then instead of actually using the number one I'm going to click in cell reference C6 so if I click on it you'll see it says C6 
and then divide is a forward slash in programming and in calculating things in uh, Excel so forward slash is divide and then I'm going to click on the village population which is D6 cell reference D6 and um, if I just again I'll show you I'll just enter it gives us the same one as 1 divided by 100 which is 0 0.01 you can see at the top we have that there but because we need to have it in a percentage I'm just going to times it by 100 and that gives us 1% so 1 divided by 100 gives us 1% in terms of the percentage of villages infected now you can go along and then do the same calculation for each one of these which will be uh, for village B will be 4 divided by 400 uh, sorry 14 divided by 400 3 divided by 30 and 9 divided by 100 to work out the percentage of village infected over here but there is an easier way if I click back on that one um, imagine you had a thousand calculations to do it'll take you forever to do it but if you change um, the cursor or the mouse pointer which is a big fat white plus if you go down to the bottom right hand corner where that little green square is and you just move it just on top of it it becomes a black crosshair and if you click and drag that down and you let go it actually works out the rest of the percentages for you automatically without you having to type a formula like this again and then just changing the cell references like that if I click on let me just escape that one if I click on this one you see it's C um, C7 divided by D7 and there it says C8 divided by D8 and um, yeah we have C9 divided by D9 so that's how you work out the percentage of villages infected so if I quickly go along to the next one um, and that is the unprotected population so for the unprotected population we have to work out how many people from the population are not using mosquito nets and are therefore unprotected so we can see these are the percentage of people that are using mosquito nets but we want to work out the unprotected population those that are not um, uh, protected so we already know the percentage of the protected so uh, for example village A 20% of them are um, protected that means 80% will not be protected so uh, the formula that we will use for this one is the village population times 80% so again if I do that so I'm gonna go equal so we got the village population which is that and we're gonna say times uh, where's my times times uh, by the way times is little asterisk is a times in the calculations and we can just say times 80 and I can put a percentage sign next to that and if I enter you can see it's 80 so obviously if the percentage of people using mosquito nets um, is 20 and we want to work out 80% of 100 it uh, happens to work out at 80 now what we can't do in this case um, we can't go and copy this down like that because you'll get figures that are completely wrong because every single time it's working out 80% of um, whatever we have whoops let me just escape that 80% um, of that 80% of that but it's not gonna uh, be as simple as that in this case uh, in this case we actually have to work out every individual one there is a way obviously to work it out um, easier um, without having to work out each single one and that is to work this one out so if I just delete that and show you what we can do over there and uh, that is I'm going to start with an equal sign I'm going to click on the village population and then I'm going to times that using the asterisk which is shift and 8 and I'm going to put in brackets this time 100 take away and then whatever the percentage is there so it's a hundred percent take away um, the percentage which is in cell reference F6 and then when I enter you can see that is now 80 of the hundred people are unprotected and if I copy this one down you'll see now we'll get different results so we had a 300 and something before in that one but now we don't because it's gonna give us the 100% uh, take away whatever it was in F7 um, and then in F8 and then in F9 so in this case you can see it's 100 take away F7 which is 50 it leaves us with a 50% and um, so on and so on so that is how you work out the unprotected population um, if you don't want to go down this route like that if you find it too difficult then you can just do uh, this, the calculation four times and it'll still work out 
So, and then the last one in terms of the calculations that we have to do is the percentage of unprotected villages that are, that are infected. And um, this is what we're going to work out here. And for us to work out the percentage of um, unprotected villages that are infected, we have to take the number of people that are infected and we're going to have to divide it by the unprotected population and then we will know how many people uh, are unprotected and infected. So in terms of the formula, we always start with an equal sign. We're going to click on the number of uh, people that are infected. We're going to divide that by the unprotected population of that same village. And then we're going to times that by 100 to get the percentage. So times 100 gives us the percentage of 1.25% of unprotected villages that are protected and in this case it's going to be one person um, irrespective but you'll see it works out fine and I'm going to copy that down like that and then we can see what it works out as now we don't want something like this if that appears um, and maybe we don't want something like that and just for um, to have something simple you can change this maybe to one decimal place just like we had for that one we can change this to one decimal place if you look at the ribbon at the top under the home ribbon you see you've got these um, two icons over here this is to decrease a decimal like that so it's one only one decimal place that one actually increases a decimal and that one decreases so I'm gonna go one place uh, one decimal place um, only and the same with that one I'm just going to make it one decimal place like that so it's nice and neat and those are the calculations so we can see here we've collected all this data we have now worked out the calculations using Excel which is much more efficient than working it out by hand because by hand you would have worked every single one out um, on its own and that would have given you um, 12 calculations to do instead of just um, one calculation there and we did one calculation there and one calculation there and just copied it down like that so in the next video I'm going to show you how to create charts for the three um, models that we want to create and then I'll create a final video to show you how to print it out in landscape mode and see everything on that thank you for watching and um, remember to, to subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on twitter thank you bye